All right, you've found us. Good morning. Let's get on and paint this buzzy bee today. Uh, I've chosen my colors and I've used my creative color wheel and I'm just going to try and show you in the, the color what I've done. I've chosen the obvious yellow for the bee. I've gone down into a complementary color and came across the other side to violet. And that is how I've come up with the yellow and the purple uh, design. And you can do that with anything. So I'm just going to get my purple glitter pen and I'm just going around the outside doing some scribbles and giving it some smushes to add just a nice thin layer of background. And if you want, if just say you want two colors and that is the comp complementary on the color wheel, it is the opposite color. So you just put the color wheel onto the main color. So you just say you pick up the pink you decide that's going to be your color is the pink and you put the arrow onto it with your color wheel and look exactly in the opposite side of the color wheel and you have come up with the complementary color so you might not want purple and yellow you can choose you know orange as your main color and then have a look on the color wheel and see what the opposite to that is on the color wheel okay so I've got my glitter around the outside and I'm just going to start coloring in the yellow and I'm using the main yellow color from Posca there's a couple of different ones I think one's called sunshine yellow more of a pastel I'm just using the regular bright yellow okay just going around the edges remember we're just doing our one thin layer so don't worry if the yellow hasn't given you the co uh, coverage you want. I've decided to go with that light lilac for the wings. I don't know why. I've probably never seen a bee with light lilac wings. So first time for everything. Give it a go. Why not? Like most of my rocks, I never know the direction that it's going in. What I did was just pulled out my yellows and my purples and thought, ah, oh, this is what we're doing today. So we'll add that black in to make him into the bumblebee traditional colours, the yellow and black. Okay, that's one layer. And you can see it's not quite that even yet. And I've got the second layer. I've got my glass of water happening here, my paintbrush, and I'm going to smush in some shading. But you can see here that second layer uh, has given the yellow and the other colors like a, a nice coverage. I'll just dab that straight on. That's the darker yellow in the okra. I'll just dab that into some areas and just lightly smush the edge of it so it looks a little bit blended. I'm not bothered if it goes on my black. I don't care where it sort of ends up. I'm not a fussy person when it comes to my outlines. That doesn't mean that you're not. And it doesn't matter. It's just your style. Remember, you're doing your thing. These are just uh, ideas that I run by you that you might like. You might want to try on rocks. But definitely your style will start shining through. Okay. And we just start smushing some of the darker purple across the wings. And Okay, just on the outer edges, I just want to make sure that that's smushed across. All right. we'll start adding in some little sparkly yellow bits, just as some little dots to include through the shading. Now, if I really knew what I was doing, I would tell you, so I'm making it up as I go along, just adding the dots. I'm trying to incorporate the methods, just adding some little cheeks. Cheeks should probably be at the top of the mouth, but anyway. Just trying to incorporate the different shading techniques that, that I taught you, I don't know, probably maybe late last year, something like that, where we use dots or dashes. Uh, you can use smushing. There's all different ways we can use shading to add in some depth. And that's what we've sort of been working on this week is just adding, adding in some dots and dashes, adding in some shading, just trying all the different methods so that you can find what method that you like the most or you might like all of them at the same time. 
So you can see here we've got the smushing and the dotting. You might like both. You might like none of them and you don't have to do any of them. And another idea is just solid line shading. You can just add in a whole line of different colour to give you some nice depth in the shading. We're just going around those edges just to sharpen up our image. We'll go around here. I'm never sort of worried about where I come off my design on the rock. I always do two designs on my rock, the front and the back. So I do finish at the halfway point and usually I just run a whole line of colour around the edge of my rock where the two pictures join. So I'm not fussy where it comes off the edge. That might be something that you would like to take the wing off and over the edge and fill those lines in properly, then go for it. But here I'm just gonna pop his little face on. Those cheeks are still a bit wet. Uh, hold your breath, mm, not as good. Okay, advice is to let the cheeks dry. <laughs> And then go over it with your black pen and then they won't do exactly what I just did and uh, get caught on the tip. So don't pick up my bad habits, even though I clearly show them on a video. Okay, I'm just having a look at where I want to go with this now. Definitely want to let that black mouth dry before you put any more dots onto it. And I'm going to get the gold. Sort of like the gold adds a little bit of richness. Doesn't pick up that well on camera, but it looks really pretty. So I'll add some dots and dashes in there. And this time I'm shining in my light from the right hand side. Now I'll turn it around and use it. There we go, get that ink flowing. And you can add in the white as well. You can get your white pen and do the same thing. You know, it's just like an abundance of colour on this one. I'm not, there's no rhyme or reason. I'm just adding stuff. Sometimes I've probably added too much, but I don't. it doesn't bother me. You know, the rock's just going to go out there. I'm not sort of looking at it, dots in the eyes, and thinking, oh, no, because it sort of turns out in the end. It's kind of looking really cute. So I'll just add a little bit more down there. Give a little bit of balance. Yeah, and we'll just go with some swirls around the outer. Sort of blends in that whole look at the top of the antenna too. So the swirls sort of match in with that. So that works really quite well. You might add little dots or hearts or something like that. You can write things on the wing. So I'll look at your bee and decide who he wants to be. And he's going to be kind. Maybe he's be happy. Oh, what's another B? B, I'm gonna go kind on mine. Be kind. And there he is. So come and show me your busy B, your be kind rocks over on Facebook. I'll catch you there in our group today, sometime today, and that's over at Reef Rocks Free Workshops.